and you'll see that down the bottom of the hole, it looks like it's going to be far quarter. He's popped it up, it's real dry right here. Right, it is day two back out here at the circus grounds for a couple hours then we're going to go over and meet a guy that's given us a new permission on uh, uh, 64 acres where we think union troops had come through uh, Benjamin and his son is on his way out uh, they had to stop and get some gloves so I'm just going to go ahead and start doing a little detecting before they get here it's a nice beautiful 45 degrees this morning and uh, sunny and so we're going to get out here and see what we can what we've missed maybe we get another another uh, shield nickel or silver out here all right, let's get the swing. Okay, my first target. There's the truck. I've walked straight to here. I got an 1819, about eight inches deep. And every time it's an 1819 at that depth, it's going to be a bullet. This is a fired bullet. Fired three ringer. All right, I'll take that. I'm out here where I found that U.S. box plate just right there in the shadows. So maybe we'll find us a buckle or. Some more bullets. I like digging these relics. All right, let's put it there. Let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Bayou Diggs and his son showed up, and he's across the field here. He says he's got a, a token. It's a nice one, store token. So let's uh, see what he's got. It's solid 17, 18 here. And uh, it says 50 cents on it. Some oh, kind of check a that out. Token there. Let's get in the sun. Maybe we can see it better. 50 cent. That looks cool, man. That looks old, too. I might say planters across the bottom, too. Something like that. that looks really, really cool. I like that. First good target of the other day. Yeah. That looks old, and that's right here where the plantation was, isn't it? I think we're in the backyard right here of the old house. Yeah, let's get a picture of that. Let me get a picture of you with it. Yeah. Hold it up there. I've just been walking all over this circus grounds and haven't found a whole lot, just a bunch of wheat pennies. We've cleaned it out pretty good, but I'm trying to go back and hit some of these areas that we have not covered uh, very well, around some trees up on this upper end. And uh, got a good screamer here and not very deep, maybe four inches deep. Check this out. And you'll see that down the bottom of the hole. It looks like it's going to be a barber quarter. Just popped it up. It's real dry right here. Yep. 1914 barber quarter. Set it up right there. Let's uh, get my camera set up. Let's get a little water on. I don't want to rub it. I don't know if a 14 is a key date or not. Yeah, 1914. I'll take that any day. I'll tell you what, this place keeps on producing uh, lots of good coins. As long as it's producing, we're going to keep coming here digging. 1914. Looks like it's going to be, I can't read it, the plane. 1914. I got that barber quarter right there beside that tree. Came over here, it's getting a 30, and uh, just dug it up. It's gonna be a nice relic. An old range guide. I like these things. I have a collection of those as well. Go dig a bunch of them if you dig relics. Getting a 1314, just not too far away from that range guide. It's gonna be a buffalo nickel. You can see the buffalo there. It's pretty toasted. 
I'm not going to get a date on that one, I don't think. All right, let's keep going. Well, still out here at the circus grounds and uh, just got me a 32. I think it's going to be big silver, but it's not. It's going to be a good relic, though. It'll be a nice old 1800s lock. It may have some writing on it. I think it does. Let me clean it up. Let's see what it looks like. It's going to be a Jupiter lock. Aspil works on it. Got a star. <clears throat> Got a half a moon. Uh, got nothing on the back. I'll put that in my lock display. I like these old locks. I have to look this up and see what exactly the date. Usually, these types of locks are late 1800s, early 1900s. All right, let's keep swinging. All right, Bayou's yelling silver. Uh, he's excited now because he hasn't got a silver yet in these two days. So he's really excited now. Let's see what he's got. So... Seven. I pull back the oh. plug and I see a reeded edge. Is it going to be seated? I hope it's seated. For, is it a quarter? <laughs> oh, it's a, a rosy. <laughs> Gosh, we'll take a rosy. I'll though. take it. 57. Uh, you're not. We dug barbers and, and seated out of here <laughs> and to get that. First rosy on the site. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Yay. It's silver, though. Silver, silver is Thank silver. You. All right. Let's keep swinging. All right. Let's get an 18, 19. And it's going to be a nice dropped three ringer. That's my second one out of this field today. Dug a bunch of them last time I was here. Still working this uh, circus ground area. Just trying to come to areas I haven't been detecting before. Just been kind of making sure I'm hitting spots that we haven't really covered. And this is one little area that we have it. And I dug up something very interesting. Never dug this before. Check this out. It was ringing up a 24. I thought it was going to be like a wheat penny. But it's a 1942 Icelandic coin. It's a Iceland Aurora. Two Iceland Aurora. Let me lay it down. Maybe get a more steel pick. That's the... All right, and there's the back. Now that's a cool coin. This is the second week I've dug. I've dug the Philippine coin, the Egyptian coin, now Icelandic. This is the first time I've ever dug an Icelandic coin. All right, I'll keep swinging in here. There may be some other stuff. Ozzy found him another pocket knife over there. He's pretty excited. He's yelling like he found a silver dollar. Daddy's over there taking his picture. Well, I got an 18, 19, about uh, six, eight inches. It's going to be uh, another. Civil War bullet. I don't know. Kind of looks like an infield, but I think it's just a three ringer. Just kind of deformed. All right. I'll take those all day long. All right. Got me another V nickel. I don't think there's going to be a date on this one. It's, uh, she's pretty toasted. I might can get a date. I can't, you can't see that. I doubt if I can. Anyway, let's flip it over. The date should be right there on the bottom. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, man, it's been a long day. Finds are few and far between. We're back over here in front of that 1909 house, kind of over to the side of the church, kind of right where I found that 1852 Canadian large scent. It's getting a 22 to a 20. Eight jumping all around about eight inches deep. Check this out. I think that is going to be a J hook uh, for the Civil War period. J hook, be the first one I found of these. It's kind of been over at the end there, but uh, I'll take that. That's a good find, it's a good relic. Benjamin's sitting down over here. It means he got sat down. Yeah. That means he's sitting down. That I means... the faintest of a signal. Really. Oh, man. It was 25, 24, and I said, if it's anything, it's a wheat scent, and I'm going for it. But, uh... Looky there. Look at that. 75, I think. No. 76. Yeah, 76. Here you go. 
Centennial seeded. Sure enough, that made your day, didn't it? Oh, now I'm in the game. 1876 <laughs> seeded dime. Check that out. Oh, Mint Mart. No, Carson City. No way. 1876 Carson City. Nice. Let's nice get it over here. I got earlier this year. Yeah, that's a that's a Carson City. That sure is. That's an awesome find right there, man. Get out of the sun. You put it right in the shade. The sun's pretty bright. Let me spray that down again. 1876 Carson City seated dime. Congratulations, nice. man. I was hoping to get silver off this corner. I got it. You got it, man. <laughs> and I missed it yesterday, I guess. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Let's keep on rolling. Benjamin, they're still down there where they found that seated. I came on up back up here, uh, up by close to the church. We haven't really found a whole lot, but uh, I did find another silver here. So let me show it to you. That's a beautiful sight, isn't it? When it's down in the hole and shining out a little silver. Gonna be a barber. 1898 barber. Gonna be a plain mint. 1898 barber. That's gonna be pretty nice, isn't it? I like those barbers. I'll take them all day long, just about out of holy water. Well, we're going to call it a day. I'm going to shoot a wrap-up, and, uh, and I'm going to shoot my second wrap-up now, and then I'm going to shoot my first wrap-up next, so I'm going to go backwards on you. And so here is uh, Bayou Diggs Fine. And this is uh, both days, right? Yeah, this, he's got both of them laid out. There's all of his trash in there. Quite a bit. And quite a few bullets. Lead bell seals. Got a nice little car wheel from a dealer, probably, there in Alexandria. A pocket knife, a pocket knife, and a pocket knife. Yeah. Three pocket knives. Makeup compact, hem weight, organ reeds, some doodads. That's part of a lock. Got him a spoon, some knickknacks, and here's going to be some of his better finds. Got a suspender. I found the other one, I think. Got him a pocket watch. Back. Got him a hold something. What is that? That's a cattle tag, I think. Oh, the cattle tag. I yeah, guess. yeah, it looks like a cattle tag. Got him a gold ring. He called gold. <laughs> got him some nice tokens, a token here. And got him a nice token there. And... Sharps and Hankin is a very rare bullet, and three ringer and another one, some small bullets. Got him an Indian, some wheat pennies, a rosy, and there's his find of the day. Find of the weekend, actually, 1876, Carson City. Man, that's a find of the day right there. That made the trip worthwhile. So that is his treasures. Good job there, Bayou. We wore this 10 acre for oh. I'm telling you what, I'm wore out too. So let me go show you what I found. All right, these are my finds for today. Uh, this is all my trash here. Typical stuff that you normally dig in a house side. I don't know if that's a, I don't know what that is. That kind of has me curious on that. But here are my finds for today. And then I'll do another wrap up and show you my finds that I found yesterday. Just some modern money. There's dime, nickel, and uh, nine pennies. I got uh, five Wheaties, and this is probably going to be my oldest one because it's so green. I haven't even looked at the dates on there. I got a nice Jupiter lock. I got a suspender and a debuckle, a watch, winding key, a range guide, a bell seal, and I got uh, mini balls and some fired shots. And I thought this was a J-hook, but it's not a J-hook. It's actually going to be a sword hanger. You can actually see where the piece right there was when it come down. And I don't see any design on it. If I can get in the light, I don't see any design on this one. But once I cleaned it up, I, I noticed that it was a sword hanger, not a J-hook. 
So that's good. I like sword hangers. And it's probably a Confederate one. Yeah, I've got me a Buffalo Nickel, a V Nickel, and then that Icelandic 2 coin from King Christian the Tenth. And then I dug a 1898 barber dime, a 1914 barber quarter. And so there are my treasures. And there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come out to a circus ground and dig out and put on the back of your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.